Hi guys, we are continuing to build our app to analyze stocks. So, what we are going to do today is to add the possibility to draw Bollinger Bands. So here, this side, uh, sidebar panel is the same as in the previous video. The only modification is here. We add this BB for Bollinger Bands, as you can see in here. Okay. So let's add here, let's go for Google, let's compute. This is the plot with the Bollinger band here yeah, with the simple moving average in the middle, the industry plot, and here are the volumes. And again, we can check the data like this. So uh, let's do this. As I said, in the user interface, I just add this uh, DB here. Nothing has changed. In server, what we have to do here? First of all, I'm computing the Bollinger band by using the typical price, that is the sum of the high, low, and close divided by three. So I'm adding a new column here, TP for typical price. And here, I compute the upper band and lower band here using the SME, uh, the simple moving average function from the TTR package. Here, TP is the typical price. And here is the window. Then the two standard deviation. Okay. This is plus for the upper band and minus for the lower band. Uh, actually, you also computed the Bollinger band by just using the simple moving average of the closed price. In this example, I use this uh, typical price. So let's see what is new. Let's go here in the plot. So just here, we add these three lines for the uh, upper band, lower band, and from the for the uh, simple moving average. The rest is the same here. If you are new, this is the code plot. Okay, so let's run again. Let's now let's change. Let's check another one, for example. You can see here. Come back here. And so on. So uh, that's it for today. In the next video, what I want to do is here to add a plot for the RSI here. Okay, so if you enjoy this video, see you in the next one.